What's up guys? This is Austin from AustinBryantDrums.com. This is episode two of my beginner drum series. Today we're going to be covering the eighth note rock group, or what I call Rock Beat 102. So what we're going to do first, so I'm going to explain what eighth notes are. We're going to play them on the snare. We'll move them around our toms, practice counting them, and then we're going to apply them to our full drum set, playing a rock group with bass drum, ride, and snare. If you're ready to go, then let's get started. In last week's video, we talked about quarter notes and how to count quarter notes. This week, we're going to be talking about eighth notes, and it's going to be a continuation off of last week's video. The main groove, our main goal is rock groove 102, that eighth note rock groove, which sounds like this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to talk about how to count eighth notes. So if we had our quarter note, which was one, two, three, four, we're now going to be thinking two hits for every beat. So if our pulse is one, two, three, four, we're breaking that up, which will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So our tempo doesn't change, our speed doesn't change. We're still feeling the one, two, three, four. We're just breaking it into the two hits now. That sounds really scary, but I think once you apply it to the drums, it makes a lot of sense. So let's give it a try. So I'm gonna count one bar of eighth notes and then we're gonna dive in playing eighth notes on our snare. If you're a righty, you're just gonna do the alternate sticking right, left, right, left. If you're a lefty, just reverse it. Left, right, left, right. All right, let's do it. One and two and three and four and So once you can comfortably play eighth notes on your snare and you can count them, then we're going to try to move them around our drum set. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two hits, so one beat of eighth notes, which would be right, left on our snare, right, left on our high tom, right, left on our floor tom, and since I only have one rack tom, I'm going to double up on my floor again, so another right, left. So to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, around in a circle. If you have a five piece, so you have the additional rack tom, you're just gonna go right around in a circle, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're a lefty, again, left, right, left, right, just alternate. All right, so let's give that a try on our toms. Let's take it really slow to start. One and two and three and four and If you feel comfortable moving around the toms, then let's apply that to the drum set. In order to play that groove, you have to build some muscle memory. So what we're gonna be doing is playing our bass drum with our ride, followed by the ride, and then our snare drum with the ride, followed by the ride. I like to break this into a few steps isolating our limbs. So the first step is gonna be your bass drum with your ride cymbal, followed by the ride. So let's just try that step. We're gonna do two measures of it just to really solidify the counting and our feel there. All right, let's give that a try. So while I'm doing that, I really like to think bass and ride, ride, bass and ride, ride. So I really connect with what I'm saying and what I'm playing. The proper way to count that is one and two and to fill your eighth notes. And what we just did was two measures. So let's try this now and we're going to go to our snare and our ride. So it's snare and ride together followed by our ride. And again, we're thinking one and two and. And if it's easier for you, say snare and ride, ride snare and ride, ride, just to get that connection. All right, let's give that a try. All right, so now we've isolated both body parts, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch between one measure of bass and ride, ride, to one measure of snare and ride and ride. Now, some of you guys are like, what is one measure? One measure is just a full count through four, because right now we're in four, four, or what we call common time, and we'll get more into that later. So for right now, just remember you're counting to four through each cycle. So let's give that a try. One measure bass and ride and ride, and one measure snare and ride, followed by ride. Let's do it. So 
So once you can comfortably play two measures of each idea, we're going to break it down into one measure. So what we're doing is we're making you switch sooner from limb to limb. So now we're going to do bass and ride, bass and ride, followed by snare and ride, snare and ride. This really builds your muscle memory. It makes you understand how to count it and gets you able to switch from each limb faster. So let's give that a try. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, the full rock groove, 102. Um, so what we're gonna do is do bass and ride, followed by snare and ride. Always remember to start these exercises really slow and build your comfort and your speed as you go. Let's give it a try. All right, let's try that same thing a little bit faster. A little faster now. So once you guys can play this comfortably on your rides with bass and ride and ride, snare and ride and ride, I want you to try the same thing but on your hi-hat. So it's going to go bass and hat, hat, snare and hat, hat. The reason I start you off with bass and ride, ride, snare and ride, ride is because we're splitting the drum set where your right limb is on the right side of your body and the left limb is on the left side. I find that a lot of beginner students trying to cross over right away get so caught up with where their arms are going that they lose focus on the groove. So once you can play this, do try translating here because you're going to play this groove a lot on the hi-hat as well. So I don't expect you just to rock out to this groove at full speed by the end of the lesson today. The whole idea is you're gonna build that muscle memory and it's gonna take a little bit of time. The best way to solidify this is to play it with music or a metronome. So if you go to austinbryantdrums.com, there's a list of a bunch of songs from slow to fast tempos so you can practice this and play along to music. I'm making these videos for the drummer who bought a drum set and gets home and doesn't know what to do with it. There's all these videos online, they're just overwhelming. You see the fastest fills, the craziest solos, and drummers on tour, and you're like, where do I start? These videos are for you. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. I hope to see you next time. Peace.